you think Brad, though, was angry enough to do what he did? I don't, I don't know. Because he was, he was at that moment, yeah. And he was telling me at the bus stop, I'm going to kill somebody today. I'm going to kill my housemate. Okay. Why do you think he was saying this? Because he wanted money. He even, he was saying, he's, he, ever since when I first met him, he's even stealing from all his house providers, getting money out of their car, getting money out of their wallets. And he told me uh, that night, when we were at the bus stop, I'm going to get his credit cards, I'm going to go cash in, and I'm going to leave state. Welcome to 8MC Investigations. We put out videos like this every week. So if you are a fan of consistent content, consider subscribing. I would like to give a shout out to all of our members. Thank you for the support to keep this channel going. We will be putting a lot of extras on our Patreon as well. For those interested in more of a deep dive into some of these cases, the link is in the description below. The best way to support this channel is to like and subscribe. It is free. It's easy, and it really does help the channel a lot. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get into it. June 4th, 2017, Aurora, Colorado. When neighbors called 911 after hearing a disturbance in the apartment next door, police arrive on the scene to find 61-year-old Indonesian man Harsano Harsano bleeding profusely on the floor. Harsano was Brad Baker's host home provider. There was a, quote, scene of destruction around him, end quote. The furniture overturned, blood spatter on the walls and the floor. Harsano was taken to the hospital but later succumbed to his injuries. Neighbors said that Brad Baker, 20 at the time, was seen leaving in Harsano's van with another person. Later learning that that person was 24-year-old Bobby Chapman, the subject of this video. Brad Baker's interrogations will be coming soon. Here is the interrogation of Bobby Chapman. But first, let us have a moment of silence for the victim in this case. Okay, go ahead and catch a seat. You good? Yeah. Okay, what this says is before I can ask you any questions, I need to advise you of your rights. Number one, you have the right to remain silent. Okay, and the next part of this is um, I understand my above rights. I know what I am doing. I agree to answer questions. I do not need a lawyer at this time. If that's the case, go ahead and give me a sink right there. If I don't need a lawyer? Do you want one? Can I get one? Well, uh, or will I be assigned to one? If you if you want a lawyer before I ask you any oh, questions. No, 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 oh, that means like I won't get a lawyer. Well, no, you can, you'll you'll be assigned a lawyer once you show up in court. But if you want one before I talk to you, then I can't talk to you. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with uh, how do you know uh, Parsano? He's he was going to be my house provider, and it was supposed to be today. Today's Monday, right? It was yeah. I was supposed to call my agency up, and I was supposed to switch agencies from Ariel to Act of Kindness, and he's going to be my provider because he's really nice. Like he's he he, not, he doesn't break people's rights. He, like my rights have been broken to where I can't people over, and he lets people over, and he's a really nice, oh, outgoing dude. And I met him through Brad, and he just—he's been giving me rides, going home, or places I need to go, and I just—he's just been 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 there for me. Okay. Um, what kind of uh, disabilities do you have, as far as what you've been diagnosed with? I have Tourette's, where I can't stop moving. I have ADHD, PTSD, and anxiety. Okay. And you're considered. Um, Disabled yeah. at this point? Okay. And um, you met Harsano through Brad, right? Yeah. Okay. And did you all live together? No. Okay. So you didn't live at the apartment? No. But you were there last night? I had to get, yes, let me explain. I had to get my wallet 
Because mm-hmm. I left it in the bathroom and I had to go really bad. I've been holding it. I didn't want to go in the bus stop because there's nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. And I had to go number one and two. And uh, I was in the bathroom and then I heard just fist something. Like I didn't know what it was. And I heard her sona call Bobby help. So I ran out and I just froze. I, I couldn't do nothing. And my phone was in my pocket and it was dead. Tell what time was this? Um, I really don't know because it was like. Can I give it like a guess? Sure. Ballpark. 9.30, 9.45. Okay. Um, yeah, and I just froze when I saw his eye and he was crying. I, that, that tore me up. And I still... Our son. Yeah, he was crying. And Brad was keep on going at him. Then he picked up a chair and... Okay, I, let's back up a little bit. You, you heard... You heard... Uh, Harsano calling for help. Yes, he called my name for help. Okay. And I and came to help. When you came outside, tell me what you saw. All I saw is Brad just... Brad Baker just... Punching him and punching him. Was he on the floor? No, they were standing up. He he, Marcelo was trying to fight for his life, mm-hmm. like grabbing him and trying to block and everything, and he couldn't. How many times do you think that uh, Brad hit him? I, I, I don't like over fifty. Okay. Um, what do you think this was all about? Why do you think that Brad went after him? He been t- he tells me this all the time. He texts his mo- his ex girlfriend, my girlfriend right now. Her name is Betty Ann uh, Spranglin. She lives in Kentucky. He texts her, and he been telling me that he wants to kill him because he wants his money. Because he don't get he don't get no money from him. He's been texting you that. He been texting my girl, my girl Your girlfriend. Right? Okay. And he been telling me that. Okay. And I didn't I really didn't believe him. I I just because I know he lies all the time. Okay. Was he texting uh, using his phone for yes, that? Yes, for on his phone to on Messenger from Facebook to text my girl. Hot, and you said he did that pretty often. Often, like more than often. Like when was the last time? Do you think? Um, I know when after he got done with it, what he was doing, he texted my girl when I was in, going to get the car because I, I had to go home, mm-hmm. and I didn't I didn't want to be around that. I just it was it tore me up. I was I was in tears. Mm-hmm. And I see my friend cry, and that's, that's Did not... Did you hear any arguing or anything before from the bathroom? No, all I heard is Brad... Because Brad was supposed to stay in the car. Me and Arsona, he said, I can go to the bathroom and go get my wallet and go to the bathroom. And Brad just pushes open the door. Okay. So, let me get this straight. Brad was in the car when you went to, to the bathroom? Yeah. yeah, okay. He's not supposed to come in. Okay. We were supposed to go... Arsona was supposed to drive me home. Okay, and Brad, Brad was going to go with him? Yeah. Okay. So, um, that's the way you left it. Brad was in the car, Hassan was in the apartment, and you were in the bathroom, yeah. and then then you heard... The door just slam open. Okay. The front door. Yeah. Okay. And then you heard... This, this fist hitting. Hitting. And, and Hassan... Call for my name. For call. Okay. What happened after you left the bathroom? After I left the bathroom, I froze, and... I, I just saw his eyes, his one eye just full of, and he was crying, and he was bleeding, and I just didn't know what to do. Okay. My phone was dead. I couldn't make no phone call to 911. I couldn't do anything. And I couldn't leave the, par- leave the apartment because Brad said, if you leave or do anything, you snitch or anything, I will kill you. And he, this is what he did to me. He grabbed me like that, and he grabbed me here, and he grabbed me and he right here. Okay. So did you try to stop him from hurting? I did, yes. Once he got him on the ground and started uh, hitting when hitting him with all kind of objects he could even think of a chair, a uh, lamp, a table, um, a frying pan, and I just I tried to pull him off, but he kept on pushing me away. Okay, and so he hit him with a lamp and a table yeah. and a chair. Yes. And a frying pan. Yes. Okay. How many times do you think he hit him with these objects? Probably like seventy-five times. Really. Okay. And he wouldn't stop, and then he starts stomping on his head. Okay. Did you, at any point, did you hit Horsano? No, I hit, I tried to hit Brad. Okay. I tried to hit Brad because I didn't want him to do that. Okay. Okay. Um, I didn't get a chance to even hit him. Tell me about it. It's, from my understanding that this was live fed on Facebook. Yeah, because I was on... He was, he was using his phone, I guess, and I didn't know it was on, and... I guess he was being all recorded. Okay. Uh, who who was recording it? I guess his his Brad's friend David something. I don't know his last name. 
Was there another person there? I, I didn't know it was on. I couldn't really say. I'm just going to say that's what I heard. Okay. I don't know if Facebook was on either or what. No, I don't know. Okay, who is actually doing the recording to live stream it on Facebook? It doesn't record it, it just, it's video chat. So I don't know how he recorded it or so what would happen. But, so it was just you three in the apartment though, right? Yeah. Okay. And, um... I don't even think his phone was on, I don't know. Okay. So my phone was dead. My phone was on zero percent, I couldn't even turn it on. Okay, so he was on the floor and he was hitting him with all these different objects. What happened? I tried pulling him off. I, he would just push me away. I tried push, going up to him and pull, like grabbing him, a bear hugging him, pulling him off, and he still wouldn't. He would just push me away. Okay. And after, I mean, at some point, after I told him, just it's enough. It's enough. Just stop. He's done. Okay. But I just, I he, he looked like he was dead, and I was so scared. I'm like, dude, just leave him alone. Where was and he when you left him? He was um. There's a back door. Here's the back the back door, and he was like right on the side of the wall, like a little bit up in the back door, just laying there. Okay. And he got his keys out of the car. Like you're driving. I'm like, okay, I'll drive. Okay. And what was Horsano's? What was his condition when you left? Was he? Do you think he was still alive? No, I don't think so. Was he making any noises or anything? No. Okay. Was there, uh, was he, where was he laying exactly? He was just laying on the floor. Okay. Was, was there anything on top of him? Yeah, there was, uh, an entertainment stand. How'd they get on top of him? I just knocked it down on top of him. Okay. Okay, um, Now, let's get to, you guys, uh, you got in the car and you left, and um, did you think about calling 911 at all? My was dead. I was charging in the car. Okay. Was there anybody else outside that you saw? Could no, I didn't see nobody. I really okay. didn't. I just got out, and I, I, I got, took the wrong turn to get, the, get out, and I still didn't see nobody because I purposely took the wrong turn to go look for somebody, and then I turned back around, and I went to the, the front gate and saw nobody. How did you, uh, I mean, where, where did you plan on going, or who, who decided where to go? I wanted to go home, because uh -huh. I, was, I, I was tired, and I didn't want to go to his house. Okay. But I had to get my wallet, because my, my bus passes were in there, my social security cards were in there, uh, my phone numbers were in there, and I couldn't lose that. Who do you live with there? I live with a, a lady named Miss J. I don't, I can't pronounce her name. Okay, is that like a care provider yes. for you? Okay. And once you came home, did you talk to her? At all? I did. I talked to her and I said, Brad, uh, did something illegal. And I didn't, I didn't really go into details. And I told her she needs to call the cops. Okay. And did she? Yeah. Because my phone was on the charger at home after I unplugged it from the car. What's her name again? I call her Miss J. Okay. Um, do you know her phone number? It's on my phone. But she called the cops? Yes, she did. I made sure. What happened once the cops got there? Um, they told Brad, I, well, I, I was kind of overhearing, and they said, get on the ground, get on the ground, and he got on the ground, and then they put him in handcuffs, and then he's try, he he's he been trying to make up lies about me ever since I first met him, mm -hmm. trying to get me in trouble somehow. He almost got me uh, kicked out of my day program I go to. He got kicked out, and he's been trying to get me in trouble. So he, t he must have told the cops something that I did something when I really didn't, and... Um, they just came out and they, they said, can we talk to Bobby Chapman? And I said, yes, sir, you can talk to me. And they put me in my, my husband went back and t just took me away. Um, did, uh, I didn't even know what was going on, though. What do you think this was all about? Brad really wanted money because he had no money to pay for his phone or anything. He never had money to pay for cigarettes, and he just wanted money. And he knows Horsona has money. Okay. Did he, did he take any money from her son? No. Well, he's, uh, he has in the past, yes. He has stabbed him in the shoulder, too, in the past, and has sort of still led him back in the house. Mm -hmm. 
Why do you think Corsano did that? Do what? What do you mean? Let him back in the house after that. I, I, I don't even know. He's just really forgiving. Okay. Did have you ever known Harsano to be um, abusive or no. threatening towards? Never, never, not one bit. Towards Brad no, not at all. Huh? No. Okay. Is he Brad's right? always abusive towards him. Okay. I have to tell him when I'm at, whenever I go to his house, you need to be nice to him, and he doesn't even be nice. He cusses at him, he pushes him, he yells at him, he leaves a mess in the house and doesn't clean up after his mess. How long was uh, Brad at Harsano's house? I can't really say. I don't know. Okay. Not that long. Why Why would you think that Horsano would put up with that? I, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't if I was his provider. I guess he's just really forgiving, really nice, and respect, respectful. I mean, every time I see him, he has a big smile on his face. He says, hi, Bobby. How are you doing today? Hmm. Okay. So I'm like, yeah. What do you think... Um, what do you think should happen to Brad? If, if there's a way, I would press charges on him. Because that's my friend he hurt. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm almost going to cry because that's it's just, it's, it's not right. If he was convicted of, of hurting Harsano, what do you think should happen to him? I want him to be like in jail. That's just... No. Okay. I'm trying to hard not to cry right now. Okay. Would it surprise you to... Uh, Learned that he he told me that you hit him. No, I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. Didn't touch him. Didn't touch him. Not one bit. I tried to help him. Okay. Um. Why didn't you tell the cops that when you first came into contact with us? Because I was scared and I was nervous and I didn't really know what to think. I don't know really what happened with the first interview you had with. Uh, I know that was. Investigator. I was Benson. scared because I thought I was gonna get in trouble for something I didn't even do, and I was just scared. I wasn't. Was I was tired. I wasn't thinking, and I just slept. And okay. But now since I actually got some sleep, I'm I'm not scared no more. But I'm still nervous, and I'm so worried about her sona, and I'm more of aware of what's going on. Okay, you know if if you didn't have anything. If you didn't do anything wrong, you don't have anything to worry about, okay? And this is just something that we need to nail down. I understand this, sir. Um, but is there a way, if if I mean her, if I do ever get out, can me and her son take him to court and make him get life? Because that's well, that is just that's going to be. But that's an elderly person. Well, he's, he's and he has such a good heart. He's going to have to go to uh, court to answer for what happened. Uh, whatever um, a jury decides or the DA's office decides is, is what's going to happen to him. Well, no, what am um, I going to do? Because I'm, I really don't know. At this point, am I just under, under, you have under, to under, under you have, investigation? Yeah, you have to understand. We have to, we have to take both your statement and Brad's statement yes, yes, yes. and and figure out what happened. And because you, because you've been implicated. For now, um, you're gonna have to, uh, you know, stay put where you're at until we get this sorted out. Um, let's go over this but again. But if you talk to Brad's uh, case managers, you will tell you he's nothing but a liar, a compulsive liar. That he has a disorder of lying. Mm -hmm. And y you can tell that whatever he says is not even true. He lies most of the time about everything. How do you hook up with Brad and when? I met him at the day program I go to. Okay. At the what? I'm sorry. It's a day program. Okay. For how long ago? I guess back in back in uh, February. February. Yeah. Okay. I just met him. We started playing cards and started hanging out, and I didn't know nothing about him until a couple like month, like a month later. And how often were you hanging out? Before before he done something really stupid and. It was like almost every week or twice a week, and but then he does something really stupid. He told his his friend to call me my me and said he got shot up and got killed, mm -hmm. and I actually believed it. But then once I called her son up and said he is Brad okay, he said yeah he's in the room he's right now he's right here, and that's why I don't believe anything that he says anymore. And I talked okay. I talked to his case managers because I was going to get my my uh, my agency signed to their agency. And they told me everything about him, how he lies about everything. Okay. 
Um, what kind of, are, are you prescribing any medication at Yes, sir. All? What I'm are you on prescribing? Cyprex and Prozex. Uh, I'm sorry, what's the first one? Cyprexa. Cyprexa. for depression. Okay. And Prozex is for depression. Okay. Do you drink? Occasionally, not like okay. not like socially, I should say. Not okay. Just like every once in a while. Like on my days off, I may have a drink or two. Okay, not marijuana or any other kind of drug? I do that for pain, yes. For pain, okay. Yeah. Any other kind of street no. drugs? Okay. Um, were you doing any uh, marijuana or street drugs or no, no, alcohol no. before this incident? No. Okay. Were you guys at a bar? Yeah, we were. Uh, I was actually playing pool with some friends. Okay. What bar were you at? McCarthy's. Did you have anything to drink there? No, my friend did. He had a, he, uh, I had actually had a, a Mountain Dew. It was, it was free. So some chick bought it for me, and he, my buddy, had a Bloody Mary. Who's your buddy? His name is Shane. Shane, okay. What's Shane's last name? I don't know. He's an Asian dude. Okay. He's really nice. Oh, and um, was Brad there with you? I told him he can't come in, and he kept on coming in. So I told him he needs to stay on the far side of the <laughs> pool table room. Okay. Was he drinking? Um, no. Well, actually, I don't know. Because there was a Coke and rum uh, right by his this table he was sitting at. So I think he was. Was he doing any kind of drugs or smoking yes. marijuana? Yes. Um, the day before, he did, did, did do some Coke. He found a bag of Coke, and he said, you want to try this? I'm like, no, I don't do that. Sh I don't do it. And he did it, some Coke, yeah. What, when did he do that in relation to the incident? The day before that happened. Okay, so. Uh, okay, today is that hours Saturday. 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 Okay. Um, near, right before the incident, though, did, did he smoke marijuana, drink anything? He was smoking with me when we were hanging out, yes. Okay. Okay. And um, so you left the bar. Yes. Where'd you go from there? I told him I don't have my wallet, and I checked the bar, and I said, I think it's at uh, Harsona's house. And I called Harsona, see if he can give us a ride, because uh, I thought the bus was up ready. And then I called him back, and then once I saw the bus, and I told him, it's okay, Harsona, I'm, I'm just on my way to my wallet. And he said, okay, Bobby, I'll see you soon. I said, okay, I'll see you soon. And we that was it. Did he verify that the wallet was there? Yeah, okay. Did. And where was your wallet? It was in the bathroom right on the trash can, on top of the trash can. Okay. So... You guys took the bus? Yeah. Okay, and he took it back to the apartment. Okay. Um, tell me what happened from that point. Well, when we got there, the gate was closed. Our son was waiting for us, and uh, we, I said... The I'm gate so to the apartment complex? Yeah, our son said hop in, and I hopped in, and he opened the gate. I mean, Brad was just arguing with him the whole time in the van. I told him, you need to chill. This is your household. Like, you need to be nice to him. You need to be respectful. Like, he does too. What was he arguing with him about? Something dumb. I don't even know. I don't remember. And um, so, me and our son, our so, I got out of the car, and I told Brad to stay in the car. And he didn't. I guess he didn't, and he stayed in there until I got in. And then once I got in, I, went to, I told Sean, can I please use your bathroom, because I had to go. And I went to the bathroom and got my wallet first, put that in my, wallet, my back pocket, and then I went to the Did bathroom. And Horsano went in with you? No, to, no. To the apartment? Just you? Didn't, but he went in the apartment, yeah. He went to go in the living room. Okay. Okay, and Brad stayed in the car. Until like a couple seconds later, when I was actually in the bathroom, I heard a door slam open. Okay, and that's when I heard help. Would Would you hear? Did you hear Brad yell anything? Yes, yeah, anything. He was yelling cuss words. What was he saying? Uh, can I say it? You can say it. Okay. He was like, "I'm gonna fucking kill you, damn bastard, old fucking geezer. I'm gonna fucking kill you." Okay. Um, and then what? And then I just hear, just like. When you hit somebody like like that, mm -hmm. just like hit marks, I could hear the. Okay, and you said when you came out of the bathroom, you said that you saw they were both standing up, and Brad was hitting him. Yeah. And where were they standing? Okay, here's the kitchen. So it would be, it would be like um, right on the side of the kitchen. Uh huh. The kitchen goes like this. There's like a little little table, you know. Mm -hmm. So it would be like right here in the. Uh, Middle of the table, the, the what the sink is, you know, I don't mm -hmm. know what that's called. But it would be like right kind of at the end of the living room, right at the end of the living room. Okay. And he was just going at him, then he got a chair and broke it over his head. What kind of chair is it? 
It's a very good kitchen chair. Yeah. What did it look like? It was light. Let's see if we can get a color. It was light brown, light light brown, golden brown, you know. Mm-hmm. And it had little spokes in it, like a regular kitchen chair. And he just broke it over, and then her sona. The whole chair. The whole chair. Okay. Her sona got up, and then he grabbed a chair too. And was trying to protect himself because I understand I was, I couldn't do nothing I was just frozen. Was he laying on the floor at that point or around? He the... he got up and got a chair okay. and he starts swinging that Brad and then Brad grabbed a coffee pot and threw it at his head and it just shattered. Okay, what kind of coffee pot? You know the glass coffee pots you put you make your coffee in? Like a carafe. Yeah, it's like glass and yeah, it's... but just like that, babe. Okay. And he threw it at his face and shattered and um. He, then her son grabbed a light pole, a lamp, a really big one actually, and started swinging it around. And I just, I just ran back to the bedroom because I was looking for any kind of way to get help, a mm-hmm. bone or something. And I was see, I was seeing if Brad, because Brad has three phones, I was seeing if one was on, and none of them were on. Okay. So then I ran back out, and then her son. You, did you have your phone? Yeah, but it was dead. It was dead. Okay. Was, yeah. Gotcha. And then I ran back out, and her son was on the ground, and he's just slamming a chair into his head mm-hmm. and he's just out cold and he just keeps on slamming it and he gets little pieces and starts slamming he gets a this really little big pieces piece of of the wood like the spokes in the chair oh, okay gotcha and then he gets a table and starts jamming it into his head and what kind of table is it it's one of them coffee tables like that thing yeah okay and was her son on the floor at that yes. point yes um uh, and how many times do you think he hit him with the coffee table? I tried pull, I tried stopping it. I couldn't do it though. He kept pushing me off. Uh, I got me like maybe 25 times. Okay. Because it was pretty heavy. Okay. It looked because it's not one of them regular coffee tables. It was one of the really expensive ones, like really heavy ones, you know? Mm-hmm. One that can actually can sit on or play games on. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, so he hit him with a coffee table, and then what happened after that? And then I told him that's enough. Don't don't do no more. You're gonna you're acting stupid right now. And I kept on yelling at him, and then I kept on pulling him off and trying to get the table away from him and move the table. And he kept on pushing me off. And finally, he just like I, I had enough. I'm done. Okay. Uh, what was the conversation after he said he was done? I told him, let me just go home. Can I, you got any? Let's just get the keys and go home. Okay. Because I wanted to go home. I wanted to to call somehow to get help. Okay. And I wanted to make sure my friend was okay. Okay. Not Brad, her son. Okay. Um, and you, you said you guys left. Yeah. And what was her son's condition at that point? Uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad? Could you describe his injuries for me? His head was, I got him in, I don't know if it was smashed or something. It looked kind of dented in and it was bleeding bad. His face was all bloody up. His eye was out to there. Um, his mouth was missing teeth. I don't, I think so. Because uh, he was, yeah, okay. it was bad. You said that uh, Brad was uh, looking off to Horsano in the van. Was there kind of any kind of mutual argument going yes, on? Yes, there was, yeah. What kind of, uh, and... Do you know um, what, what were they was, arguing about? He, he was kind of saying like I'm gonna I'm gonna f you up and and uh, her son was like yeah 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 right you're not gonna do shit. Mm-hmm. And then I just told him to stop and he didn't stop and then I just I'm like her son let's go and and, and, to, and her son I told Brad and I told Brad stay in the van we'll be right back I'm just going to use the bathroom get my wallet and that's when it all happened. Do you know what this argument was about? No, I don't. I don't actually know. Do you know if... Oh, actually, yeah, I remember now. It was because he got home too late. Okay, so was Brad... Would you, was it fair to say that he was angry with Horsano then? Yeah. Well, okay. they both were angry, actually, at, his, at, at each other. Okay, do you think Brad, though, was angry enough to do what he did? I don't... I don't know. Because he was... He was at that moment, yeah. And he was telling me at the bus stop. I'm going to kill somebody today. I'm going to kill my housemate. Okay. Why do you think he was saying this? Because he wanted money. He even he was saying, he's, he, ever since when I first met him, he's even stealing from all his house providers, getting money out of their car, getting money out of their wallets. And he told me uh, that night 
when we have the bus stop, I'm going to get his credit cards, I'm going to go cash in, and I'm going to leave state. Okay. Um, would you mind if we looked inside your phone? Yes, go ahead. I do not mind. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. What kind Anything of phone I do you have? I can help. I want to help or someone. Okay. What kind of phone do you have? Uh, I think it's a cool pad. It's called C O O L P A D. Cool pad. And I really appreciate you talking to me because I how to get this off my mind. That's not a problem at all. Sometimes I actually got some sleep, and I can actually be more aware when I'm, and more thinkable, you know. How long has it been since you've slept? I slept right when I got there. Like, the second I got there, and they got me. At the jail? Yeah. Okay. I slept. It wasn't long, but it was enough for me to get some thoughts in my mind. I actually started thinking and actually getting aware of what, uh, what happened. Were you aware that... Um were you aware that uh, Brad came over and talked to us? I was, yeah. Okay. Today or is it? Today. Yeah. yeah, I was kind of aware of that. Okay. Is, is that why you wanted to come and talk to us? No. Okay. I wanted to tell the truth and then nothing but the truth. Cause I want, and I want to make sure how son was okay and still going to make it. Okay. I've never met a nicer dude than him. And you know, I don't really trust guys. I have guys uh -huh. issues with my in my family, like my dad hitting me. And I don't really trust guys. He's the only guy I trust. He's like straight. I mean, every time he sees me, he has a big smile on his face, and he comes up to me, shakes my hand, and says, how, "How are you doing, Bobby?" And that always makes my day. Basically, what this is doing is just giving us consent to get inside your phone yeah. and download the information therein. Um, just need a quick I really don't. Right um, if you look up Betty, her name is Betty, is under contacts. Mm -hmm. She will tell you everything he texted and what she told me. Okay. okay. Do you have any of those text messages on your phone? I really don't know. Okay. Because he just tells me in person. Okay. I re well, he might have texted something, but I didn't. I don't really. Okay. I'm sorry, there's like stuff on me. No problem. It's from the handcuffs. Okay. Yeah, but my, my girlfriend Betty, she should be up and she'll t read or tell you all. I don't know if she saw the text. What's Betty's last name? Her name is Spangler. Spangler? Spangler? Yeah. Okay. Betty Ann Spangler. And where does she live? Kentucky. She is 23 years old. Did you meet her uh -uh. on Facebook? Or? Yes, sir. Okay. On Facebook. What's your uh, Facebook page? Uh, What's your name on Facebook? Bobby Chapman. Okay. And um, is it okay if we look inside your Facebook? Um. Uh, anything I can do to help. Okay. That's, what I, that's why I'm here to talk to you. What's your uh, Facebook password? Open the phone and press Facebook. Click, click on Facebook. It will get you straight to face, Facebook. Okay. Yeah. If you want to wait for a minute, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. So I just want to quickly recap. Mm -hmm. What's going on? So tell me again what happened. From the beginning, what do you mean? Well, let's, let's start from the time that you all got back to the apartment. The time we got back to the apartment, we, Brad was arguing because he, uh, Sean was telling him he got home too late and he just... That was, night? Yes. And okay. he, he was all saying... What time do you think it was? I don't know. My phone was dead. Okay. And he was saying, oh, I'm going to F you up and... I was like, yeah, 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 right. And 
And once we pulled up to the his parking space, and um, I mean, our son got out. Our son said, "Stay in the Brad, stay in the car, Brad." And I said, "Yeah, Brad, just stay in the car. We'll be right back because we're heading home anyways." And uh, I went into the bathroom, got my wallet, and then I went to the bathroom because I had to go. And I hear a door slam open, and then after that, I hear the smack marks, like, and then I hear Harsona call, Bobby, help, Bobby, help. Okay, and tell me again, what was, um, what was Brad saying? He was saying, I'm gonna fucking kill you, I'm gonna fucking kill you, old piece of shit, you old geezer, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Okay. So you heard him, um, you heard him hitting yes. Harsono, and then he came outside. Yes. When did you see again? I just saw him crying with his eyes swollen, then I seen Brad just lift up a chair and just hit him with it. And that you said that was like a kitchen chair? Right? Yeah. Okay. Right in the kitchen chair, yeah. Okay. And, and the chair broke? Yes. Okay. And then what happened? And then Persona grabs the chair and starts swinging around trying to get Brad. And then Brad grabs a coffee pot and just swings it out of his face, throws it out of his face, and then shatters. Was there anything inside the coffee pot? No. Okay. Okay. Was there, did some kind of something get knocked over in the entryway? Yes. Uh, he picked up a, some off the stove. It was like, uh, I don't know, not a frying pan, but a, a frying for some to boil stuff in. Mm hmm And her son had just knocked it, and it spilled all over the ground when uh, Brad picked it up, and then he threw it at him. And um, uh, then her son, uh, Grab some different because Brad got the chair, then started swinging at him after he got the, after Horsona tried to get this chair and swing at him first. So then Brad just grabbed it from him, just threw it at him. So Horsona grabs this uh, thing in the corner, it's a, lo a big light thing. Lamp? Yes, I got it, yeah. Is it like a standing lamp? Yes, a standing lamp. One of the little tall ones, you know, skinny. Mm -hmm. And he, he was trying to protect himself. And then I ran to the room. Because I wanted to go look for his Brad's phone before I call 911, and I tried turning it on, and nothing turned on. Hmm. I tried his other phone, and didn't even turn on. So then I ran back out, and then I see her Sona on the ground, bleeding, and he's just face first like that. Okay. Was he saying anything, Harsana? No. During the whole incident, what did he, he say? He was saying, Bobby, help, yes. The whole time. Bobby, help, and I was trying my hardest to help. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to get in, in the middle of it and get actually get hit or get hurt. So I already did get hurt from Brad. Okay. And you said that was from him grabbing you? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, he hit him with the chair. The chair broke. What yes. happened after that again? Uh, after I ran to the bedroom, I saw him just hitting him with all parts of chairs, another chair, and then uh, slamming his head with the entertainment stand up and slamming it. And then I saw him pick up, I was trying to grab him, a bear hug, and just pull him back, and he would push me back, and I would fall. There's blood covered on me because I was kept falling to the blood. Mm -hmm. And he picked up the table and just started banging his head, banging his head, and then I told him, that's enough, that's enough. And he's like, no, it's not enough yet. And then after like five more times, he just says, okay, I'm good, let's go. Okay, and then what about the entertainment center? He knocked that over on him. Who did? Brad. Brad did. Right okay. before we left. Okay, right before you left. Okay. Now, you, you guys were leaving. What was uh, Brad wearing on his feet? No, nothing. Why is that? Because he had blood in his shoes. Okay. And, and he's like, oh, I can't go out. this like, dude, you're going to need shoes. He's like, I had no other shoes. And he was wearing, because in the morning, when we first met up, we switched shoes. I had uh, his shoes on because my shoes were way too big. I had these black Nike forces, and mm -hmm. he had my uh, white and red um, Nike fights. Okay. Did he uh, articulate why uh, he didn't want to wear the shoes of blood on them? Because he he knew something. He's like evidence, and okay. he's gonna, he's gonna be smart. He's smart about it. Did you have your shoes on? I did. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna take them off. That's just dumb. Can you think of anything else that's helpful <laughs> um, about what happened? I know he had blood in his socks, on his pants, on his shirt, on his face, on his hands. He even went, uh, he even threw up actually in the van when I was driving back to my house, and he threw up outside. Um, he we I socked at a uh, like a little convenience store, like a, like convenience store and a liquor store and stuff like that. And I had to look up where my house is, 
So after my phone had a little bit charged on it, I turned it on and I looked up where on GP, on, GP, on the Google for GPS and found where it is and it kept the charge. And then I went, once I went home, I took it off and it died again. And then I once I got downstairs, I plugged it in. Called my gr girlfriend called me after I turned it back on and she I was all telling her how I'm kind of scared of what Brad did and she's like I knew this was gonna happen. He been telling me this since day one. Okay. Do you know your, uh, is Betty Ann Spangler? Do you know her phone number? It's on my phone, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm really sorry. And you said you stopped at a liquor store and a convenience store? It was a place to park where I can look up on because he had a GPS in his car. Oh, okay. So I, and I didn't know how to use it. And what were you looking for on the GPS? For I can head home. Where, where your home was? Yeah. Okay. Because you didn't know where you were? No, I didn't. But I didn't, like, exactly know how to get there. Gotcha. Okay. It's always on the safe side. Do you remember, uh, which convenience store or liquor store? Oh, my God. Okay, uh, it's on Dayton. Dayton. It's on Dayton. It's on, well, up Dayton and... Okay. I can't really remember. Okay. I'm sorry. That's good enough. Okay. Um, if you want to hang tight, yeah. um, we're going to get somebody to take you back over. Yes, sir. Um, Thank you so much. In the meantime here, let me give you a card. Thank you. And if you want, you have all three to use my phone, call my girlfriend up, and she will tell you everything, like what he's been saying, and exactly how he's going to do it. Okay. Okay, that's Betty Ann. Betty Ann Spangler. Yes. Okay. Think tight. Yes, sir. What's up, dude? Yeah. I'm just going to sit down. Right. You okay with that? Yeah. Tired? <sighs> been a long day. You? Still really don't have trust issues. I trust issues with my best friend now. Well, he was my best friend and to what he did and he blamed on me. And I have, like, I have a witness. I have proof. I have proof who's what he's been texting. And he's just trying to get me, still trying to get me in trouble. Do we have your phone? Yeah. So we'll be able to find those text messages? They're all my girlfriend's account, so she would have to send them to you. Um. Because she'd been to, it was his ex-girlfriend that I'm dating now. So, you weren't even there that this happened? I was there, yes, because I was, I, did, I was getting my wallet, and I'd use the bathroom. And he's supposed to stay in the car. And he came in and slammed the door open, and things went down. And I heard my name called for help from a really good person that I really trust. Okay. And it's just, it just BS. Cause why, why would you even hurt somebody when they they took so much in their life to take care of you? You know. Go ahead and stand up here, buddy. You already have a statement. I got everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You need to go with them? Oh, it's locked. Sir. No, it's locked. You got a key. Yeah, my desk. Yeah, I'll go get it. Hang on. Okay. Hang tight. Mm -hmm. Are you going with it? And if you want to get proof, even more proof, ask Betty, and she will tell you what she's been. Okay. What she. Been, How long have you known Betty? We've been dating since February seventeenth. Okay. And she has. I don't know. If she. I don't know if she has, still has it because I know she blocked him a whole bunch of times. And when you when you block somebody, you delete all the texts. But she has read every single text that he texted her. Okay. Why is he texting her? Because he's the only one that, because he doesn't want, I guess, because he doesn't want anyone to know what he's gonna do. And yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey, oh, oh, I did these backwards. Hold on. Oops. What do I do? Hold up. Okay. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, there we go. Where'd Nelson go? I don't see him. Huh. I'm supposed to go with him to take somebody back. With this guy? I guess so, yeah. Oh. you? I, I don't know. Ed was looking for somebody and yeah. said it. So, I mean, I'll do it. Nelson. We'll do it. Okay. I think we had, a, we had already planned on it, so. Okay. Thanks. 
Yep. Here you go. Okay, cool. cool. I just have a seat, man. It might be a second, okay? I'm not ignoring you, I promise. One of those days, huh? Yeah. Turned out my best, one of my best friends tried to blame something that I completely didn't do. And I witnessed everything he did. Wow. And I have another witness that was on video chat at him when his phone is in his pocket. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, I'm just waiting for Nelson. We'll run him over. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. He's been, you've been booked in already. He's been booked in no, already. Yeah, he just needs to. All right. Is there a way you can give me any uh, updates if you figure out anything else, please? Well, um, actually, that's going to come from through your attorney because um, I'm not going to be able to have any contact with you at once you get assigned an attorney. So everything has to go through. Him, so. You know where Nelson is? No. I start call tomorrow if that makes you feel. Well, if you're not on, if you weren't on call, why'd you get this? Well, just because you're lucky. One of those things, yeah. And his phone is going right to voice. But are you going to call Betty to, to get proof, though? There you are. Yeah, yeah I am. I'm going gonna, gonna, to. I'll, I'll be talking to Betty once we get your phone downloaded. That's so. uh, my desk. It goes right to the desk. working? Huh. What's that? Is it working? Is it oh, working? it's in We'll get it to work. So. Two, one, nine. We got it, right? Yeah. That's okay. it. I think so. I really don't want it. Okay. If not, is that all set? Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. You bet. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, sir. Ready? Police found Brad Baker the next morning in Harsano's van parked on a residential street, covered in dried blood. He was arrested, and Bobby Chapman was arrested at a nearby household. Now, this was not a high-profile case, so information was limited. From everything I can tell, Bobby Chapman was convicted of multiple crimes in this matter and sentenced in May of 2022. He is serving a 40-year and an 8-year sentence, and he is scheduled to be released in February of 2065. Sadly, I could not find the information on exactly what his charges were, but I am assuming that they were for second-degree murder and aggravated robbery. Brad Baker pleaded guilty on August 29, 2019 to one count of second-degree murder and one count of aggravated robbery. Additional charges against him were dismissed as part of his plea agreement. Arapahoe County District Court Judge Ben Lutweiler noted the tremendously aggravated nature of this crime, and he imposed the maximum sentence permitted under the plea agreement, which was 48 years. Baker is scheduled to be released in August of 2064. Thank you all so much for watching. We have a lot more on the way, so make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you in the next one.